Okay, I like this choice for Maze. Seems to be pretty good on Maze, and also Air Toss is something he's shown us in the past. He's very good at Phoenixes versus Terran. Uh, the only player I think is better than him at that is maybe Myungshik. So, probably gonna see him end up doing some Stargate opening here. Maybe some harass with an Oracle going to Phoenixes to defend drops. If you can defend drops and control the air, then your Colossus play becomes a little bit stronger later on too because you have those Phoenixes to help buffer against the Vikings. Because as we talked about on Maze a lot, you get those Vikings over the little um, ridges, whatever you want to call them, the blockers that are in the middle of the way, and the Vikings can actually just have free reign on your Colossi. I really like the classic pick. It shows a lot of confidence in him as a player out of the SKT uh, bench there. The coach is, you know, doing this uh, only allows them one other pick, and it's going to be either Rain or Sue probably. And you can't use both of them now. They're using classic over those two players on this map because he's so good for the map. And yeah. he's definitely prepared something for this. And I'm really excited to see what it is. Yeah, though, for sure. Because at this point, they're probably expecting that they've gotten as far into the depth of Pyong as, uh, you know, if, if they're if they're having to send out, like, their third player, too. Pyong's probably the one who's causing some problems. So they might end up facing him here in a PBT. And I'm really curious to see what Classic's got planned. We're going to find out what it is right now. The winner of this game will take the third win and take the lead here at the round three finals for the SK Telecom 2014 StarCraft II Pro League. Down here in the bottom right in the orange for SK Telecom, the Protoss player. It is classic. Very classy. If they even change his ID classy, I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> and over here, it's the one of the better Terran players in the world. No matter what number you give him, you can't uh, argue against it. He is definitely one of the best. It's Byung. And he's just sitting there relaxing, chilling, getting his build going. Knowing he would have to play on this map as well should he win. So the map not going to be a too uh, too big of a thing for him. I don't think he's actually ever played on the map though. So uh, I'm not. I, I don't think he's ever played in a televised match. That is to say, of course he's practiced on it before in house, no doubt about that. Um, it's, but like, it's like his first game on this. He's map. like never played it. He's like, wait a minute, like which one of the rocks <laughs> is the one that you kill? I was uh, like, I was texting my girlfriend when I was at the studio when uh, you guys were playing earlier when Sora was playing. I was just like not really paying attention. Oh god, that would be so funny if just one of the players has just never played on one map. I mean, I'm sure that's actually probably happened like before at least once on one particular map, but for this map, I doubt it. Yeah. Like that Andromeda map or Armageddon or Anaconda, whatever it was called last season. Like, I'm pretty sure there are a few players who probably didn't play on that one. CJ on this map has the better record, four and three against the two and two of SK T. And uh, we saw Classic drop down that gateway, so we're not going to have the the Nexus first here. Whereas yeah. for Byung, we are going to go for ACC first. I think Classic is going to go for uh, he's going to go for Oracles here. I think. And then go into that, uh, you know, quick Phoenix build I was talking about before. See how, oh, misclick there. It's going to want to notice that. Because if you only have one gas and you're only mining from two, you are missing out on a lot of gas. That's a big mistake right now. He's got to notice that. He's got to be, like, paying attention to his base right now. Okay, okay. there he goes. About 10, 15 seconds that uh, one... Probe was not mining the gas. A little bit uh, annoying for him there. Could actually slow down his Stargate by about that much time. Although, honestly, realistically speaking, the third probe in the assimilator get, does not get as much efficiency as the other two. Uh, a gas will mine at about like 80% 80, 80 efficiency with just two probes. So, I mean, it's it's not the worst thing, but definitely it hurts him. Oh, he's yeah. going to go ahead and drop this Nexus down uh, with just the one gas. That's why he chooses to delay his tech slightly to get more mineral income and get a faster Nexus. Yeah, smart for the map. You'd say, like, uh, maybe on a smaller map, go for the Oracles first. But here, once to get that Nexus out, knows it's going to be a long time before Pyong even gets to his base to scout. And he's going to drop that Nexus, of course, after the Cybernetics Core. Follows up with the Mothership Core. Going to want that for defense. Yeah. And, I mean, just looking at everything that we're, we're seeing here right now, it seems to be that... Uh 
Byung is going to be ready for the, the Stargate play should that come out. He's got a triple barracks coming up. He's going to have enough Marines out. Oh, is that even a fourth barracks? It is. So he's uh, he actually could be in trouble if he moves out when the Oracle comes in with how he's deciding to play this. We'll see. I mean, I keep saying when the Oracle comes in as if it's a certainty, but we still haven't seen that Stargate yet, so could be wrong on my prediction here. Yeah, still just a, a Stalker and Warpgate research before the Stargate goes down. So if he's going to go for it, it's going to be very delayed. Five and here racks. the fifth barracks comes down. What? Every single game we've seen from Byung today, he has shown us something different. Game one, he shows us an old school TBZ, goes for early Hellbat drops, also goes for the one barracks expand. Game number two, he does Kangnam Terran. And game number five, he's doing Bomber five racks, uh, where you just literally rally Marines across the map for quite some time, try to trade against the Stalkers. The reason why this fell by the wayside in Heart of the Swarm is because of the Mothership Core. If the Mothership Core is there and has enough energy, then this is probably not going to work for you. So let's see how much this, this uh, actually comes into play successfully, because not only is the Mothership Core there, but he's going to have to go through rocks. Yep, it's going to be so annoying for him. If he if he wants to avoid maybe the natural next, he's going to go through the rocks in the back. It's 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 going to be a while here. And this probe, unfortunately for Classic, is going is not going to scout it. And these Marines are going to start running across the map. Yeah, right now but to seven. Consider though, he should have a spotter on those rocks. He'll see that coming. Um, yeah, he's going to hide these Marines. It looks like no. Yes, no. Oh well, it doesn't matter because he's going to see all the barracks. Yep. And now he's going to panic a little bit, I would say, maybe even add additional gates. He just needs to make sure that his stalkers are in position exactly as they are now. Um, yeah, there's that extra gate I was talking about. The Oracle can be quite useful, actually, in the defense of this, uh, as long as it fights kind of towards the end. But it does so much ground to, uh, or air to ground damage against small targets like Marines. And now he's coming in through here. It's the follow up of the Marines that's really the scary part. So he forces the overcharge, and then the next wave that may even come with SCVs is going to be quite scary with uh, not a ton of gateway units out just yet. Yep. For now, though, this little amount of Marines are going to be scouted, but we've got to look at the reinforcements there. Classic, knowing that this is the follow-up, he's not going to, to uh, chase too far out there, which is very, very smart. Okay, he's poking a little bit here. He's got force fields. And not a whole lot of units here to defend for Byung, though. Starting to lose way too many SCVs here. Four, five. Five and SCVs already down. The Oracle's going in the main base. Still no missile turret. Seven. Yep, getting Eight. more kills here. Now up to nine, ten. And over here, though, he's getting in. In fact, if he walks to the left, he can actually sneak through. Goes through the middle. Walks his way up the ramp. But I think there's enough Protoss here to eventually push this back. Starting to worry about Byung, too, because consider as well, on top of everything else, he's got a ton of gateways that he just finished. I think he went up to six or seven. And the counterattack is going to be quite fierce. Yep, third base coming up here. We see, you know, <laughs> nine kills for Classic there, ten, or rather five for Byung here. So Classic actually did more damage with that. You know, Classic did have to use some of his probes in there to oh, wow. uh, hold that off. But had he seen that base, he could have even denied that too. Uh, so that's one really lucky thing for Byung going into this one. Uh, not knowing about that is, is a bit painful for him. Let's see how he wants to follow this up, because I thought he was actually going to do a big gateway attack, but it seems like he's just going to try to transition now, because he's done more damage than he probably expected to do with this Oracle. 14 kills, 15, maybe even 16. Now he's out of energy. 15 kills on an Oracle is never something you want to see as a Terran player. And now we got, you know, these Stalkers at the front of the base. It looks like there's too many Marines here, and the rocks do go down, but he's going to have them, you know, in his base here for a while. This one command center over here, it is hidden. I don't think that Classic knows about it, but still... Uh, you can't transfer those SCVs right now. You can't transfer the SCVs. Um, you know, he could drop mules over there, but even that's risky because if he drops all of his mules over there and they get spotted, then he's in, a, in really rough shape. Looks like Classic is actually just going to go into those Phoenixes, like I said, and play a late game here. I'm not sure that he has to do this, but it's not a bad choice. Yeah. Robotics Bay on the way now for those Colossi, of course, to be there with the Phoenixes. Can definitely go for that Phoenix Colossi count. May just want to harass with the Phoenixes. Seeing now the Stalkers break down even more and more rocks as he does move to take his third base. Oracle comes in again, gets another kill. Maybe, maybe even one second. more. Oh my god. Byung, if he just had one more turret here, this could have all been avoided. Now he's going to scout this base, I think. Oh, not quite. Oh he's just like god. right on the cusp of it. Had he known, man, he could have gone over there and killed everything that was left. Uh, the Phoenix is coming over here to join. It looks like finding hidden bases. It's so funny he doesn't check for the obvious one, but does go and check for hidden bases. 
Yeah, eventually that Phoenix is going to get there. It's going to scout all the way across the outside of the map and finally go in there, I'd assume. It looks like it's rallied that direction. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, it is going to scout it right away. Kind of late, though, and this gives Byung a lot of extra income that he wouldn't have really deserved to have otherwise. So this is nice. Now, I wonder what Classic is going to do upon seeing this. Is he actually going to try to be aggressive with some Colossi? The Phoenix or? got redirected, and he didn't see it. What? <laughs> Oh my god. That's he he really still doesn't strange. know. That's crazy. He's there at the, the other third base location. He's like, okay, are you really here? And now he's going to see it and he's going to be like, oh, what? Well, he needs to be careful now because there is a turret here and he's very low on hit points. So the Oracle itself isn't going to be able to get a whole lot done. This is a big Byung army coming across. He doesn't have any Vikings yet to deal with the Colossi and his army is marine heavy. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure the, the plus one armor is already done for Classic. So that plus one finishing up for, for Byung is going to be... Uh, you know, counteracted. So it's it's even upgrades here. The Colossi are the scariest part, though, against these Marines. He doesn't have anything really to deal with them at this moment in time. Yep. Yeah. Just now, the second Colossus coming out here. It is going to group up with that army. And once Classic does get the scout on that with his Observer, I think he might have seen it going across here. Uh, he should be perfectly fine to hold this off as long as he does have those good force fields. He has a bunch of spotter pylons, so he's going to see this coming. And he's going to be able to position his army accordingly as you can see here, and Twilight Council on the way. They allow him to get two, two upgrades. It's going to cost big, him a pylon, but... Big stim there. Yeah, that actually is pretty aggressive, the stim like that. With no medevacs here, that cost him a lot of hit points for a pylon and maybe like a stalker here. Oh my god, those force hits are godlike. And with no medevacs to pull this up, a huge chunk of Byung's army is eliminated. Now, this <laughs> isn't the end for Byung losing that many units because he still has good upgrades coming out, and as that third base still wasn't killed, and here comes a big drop here that Classic is out of position for. He's trying to come back now. The Phoenixes are so key here. They're actually being upgraded right now as well. And now we can actually go in for the chase. Yeah, could definitely go for the chase. Looks like another fight went on over there. Nice micro, nice multitasking and up young. I'm not sure if Classic is aware of the fact that those Widow Mines are over there. He should. Uh, he definitely has to be careful for those to not kill yeah. his uh, uh, probes back there. Actually, I think he doesn't know because... Okay, no, he does. Yeah, there I was is. worried about it because I think he was micring his um, zealots when those went off, but he might have been able to see the crater still anyways. Uh, and by zealots, I mean sentries, in fact, on the right yeah. side. But uh, this is now a situation where the upgrades are starting to get actually a little bit better for Byung, but he doesn't have the, any Vikings still to deal with these Phoenixes, nor the Colossi. Yeah, it's already a transition now into Storm, and uh, we'll probably be seeing him go into double forge upgrades pretty soon too. Oh, these are out in the wrong place. Classic is just taking little bites out of Byung, like taking bites out of an apple right now. That that fight before we did those uh, force fields in a line, he just took a big chunk, and now he's just picking up bit by bit with these Phoenixes, taking out three Marauders and four Marines in a row. And now we're, we're seeing Classic remake these spotter pylons. He's totally fine. It doesn't look like he's trying to take this fourth base just yet, but Byung is co consistently uh, trying to pressure here. Yeah, just keeping on with that pressure, constantly, constantly going. And... I mean, the, the Phoenixes here are just really such a great utility unit. This is why we see them so much in PvP on this matchup. They're so strong against this type of bio uh, that's so dependent on the medevacs. Because if you lose your medevacs, then you can't make Vikings if you want to replace the medevacs. If you make Vikings, then you don't have medevacs. So it makes every stim a bit more painful. So uh, it also prevents drops. I feel like if Classic had been paying a little bit more attention to the drop that happened at third base earlier, it might have been able to kill every single medevac. As it is here, he's not quite ready for this one. He's not ready for this four medevac drop. You're going to have these Widow Mines burrowing and a bunch of these units being dropped here. The Phoenixes come over and they are going to snipe some of these units, but they do do nice splitting against the Widow Mines as well. Gets one medevac, gets another, and now the Archons are in here. Yeah, he's got to pick up all those Marauders to make sure the Nexus can't be targeted. And that's exactly what he does. Takes away that DPS, kills this Terran army, and Byung loses a little bit more foothold here uh, when it comes to army advantages, when it comes to uh, you know, actually being able to control and bully the map. Gonna lose all these Widow Mines as well, starting to become a bit expensive. Not sure about those uh, Phoenix Lift there, using some, I guess, arguably unnecessary energy, but he wants to make sure they don't get a second charge off. Now, these Medivacs are in such a scary place right now because they have to fly away, and those Phoenixes are gonna hunt for them very, very soon. 
they're on the hunt, and I would assume right now trying to intercept them and go over and make sure that those units can't actually go home. If you were able to catch those, it might actually be game ending. Yeah, we're, we're seeing Byung now bring a big force over here to this fourth base he's trying to get up, but here are the Phoenixes on the hunt. He picks up every single unit and is eventually going to pick off those medevacs, but, but this is the big drop that Byung is counting on. He drops once again here at the third base of Classic, but he's got a lot of Phoenix, uh, a lot of Zealots, and he's got three Archons over here as well as that Overcharge. I think he should be okay. Yeah, he should be okay, and the scary part too is those Phoenixes are now on the way back. You can see them on the mini-map. Coming over here to try to chase those drops down. That's why I love the turret placement here. Not only does it defend this base, but it also helps defend the medevacs on their way out of harassing the third base. The Widow Mines have really been the saving grace for Byung in this game because every time he does these drops, his Marauders do very little, but the Widow Mines are getting some extra splash damage on trading against some of these army units, trading against some of these probes. Plus three is almost done for Byung as well, putting him into an upgrade lead. But the question is, does he have enough army to deal with this massive classic army? Looks like his answer is, I don't even need it. I'm going to drop you. He's just being so aggressive. If he has not made one Viking this game, he's going to pick off this Nexus once again. He just keeps on dropping here, and Classic is like, okay, I've had enough. I'm going to go for the attack. Yeah, he's, he's going to go. his entire army. He's going to go for the attack, and he, he looked like he was considering sending his Phoenixes back to intercept the drops while they try to come and help against this attack. Let's see if that's what he does. Yeah, splits him to the right here, so if the medevacs come to try to bring this army back, he's going to be in trouble. This is not a whole lot of bio here in the main base, and that's a lot of Colossi. Not a single Viking yet still on the map. Now, of course, he knows he can't even really make those, because if he does, the Phoenixes are going to dispatch them in no time. And actually, looks like he's going to pull probes here and try to pick up these Marauders to fight what's on the ground. This is looking pretty bad for Byung, pretty good for Classic, as he takes this fight, forcing a lift, but he's got Phoenixes. He's got the Phoenixes to chase those medevacs, but the big story here is in the main base. There's nothing to deal with all these Colossi, not one Viking, so many Archons in the mix as well. And it looks like Byung is going to stem up and try to fight now, but we'll see how this goes with all these Colossi and all those force fields. All these Colossi, all these force fields, the Archons at the front to tank and also do that extra damage to Bio. And even a Manor Nexus is queued here. And I think that this is going to be the end of the game. Lights out for the hero here for CJ Entis. And it just already begs the question, who is their final player? Because he's going to have to go through not only Classic, but most likely Rain or Sue in that final game, and I'm not sure if there yet exists a person who can do that, not on, not only just on the CJ roster, but in all of Pro League at this moment in time. That kind of human just has not been made yet. We'll see if uh, some of these pro gamers can make some babies and possibly do that, but we're seeing we're seeing Classic finally try to get this Manor Nexus up. I think he will get it and slowly spread out his units to finally kill all these buildings. There's the Nexus. Yeah, there it is. And this is going to be the end. GG. Young hanging in there for a long time. Really aggressive harassment, but you can't really play that style the way you would like to against against that many phoenixes. That's just too many phoenixes. He's, he ends up losing too much. There's just too much defense there. Yep. And uh, waving the finger, knowing he's got just one more win left to clinch this for his team, which would then... Uh, put his team, I believe, in second place, actually. Yeah, it will. If, if they win, it puts this team yep. in second place by four points above Jin Air. So a really important win for them here. And it's basically almost guaranteeing, uh, and it could be. I, I'm not going to try to make a claim, but it's basically almost guaranteeing them a spot in that final playoffs. So it's really important for them to take this, and Classic is looking solid. Brendan, i got to ask you, do you think it's going to be hushed, or is it going to be hushed? Because that's what I'm feeling. You know... Uh, you, you send out Hush, PvP, uh, if he's good at that match, which he is, he can definitely take that one, but Rain or Sue, you got a PvP, PvZ, I, I don't know if he's going to be able to do it, but one of the choices...